Question 1 asks us to write a program which performs delay cord embedding on a time series. Here is a MATLAB implementation of this code. Notice it's very simple. It's just two nested for loops that walks over the time series and places the elements in a matrix in the correct order. If we run this code using a tau of 8 and an m of 7 on the amplitude.dat time series, and we plot the zeroth element versus the second element, we get the following plot. This object does appear to be a chaotic attractor, so the answer to part A is chaotic. Part B states that the dynamics used to generate the trajectory from the last problem was three-dimensional and had a capacity dimension of 2.1. What requirement does the Tockens theorem place on M for a successful embedding of this time series? This would be that M needs to be greater than six. The Tockens theorem says that the M should be chosen greater than two times the dimension of the original system, which in this case was three. So M greater than six is the answer. Notice that M equals seven would work because M is greater than six here. However, the restrictions on the Tockens theorem would state m greater than 6, not m equals to 7.